Okay, so you can see a page over here. Everyone can see this page, and some of you have given the yes output, like you know, feedback that yes, they are able to able to see that page, and that's a that's a wonderful thing that they are able to see that page. Now, I would like to just you know tell you a few things over here that this is a page that you are able to see, and the code code should be like this. I'll show you step by step that what is the code so that uh, you don't have anything extra in your code and all code is what is required from you and what is basically what is um, what's basically there. So if you see that, if I close this head section, first of all, let's see the head section. In the head section, you will find that there is a link of font awesome library. Now, I want some yeses. Do you guys remember font awesome library, which I have used to put in these icons over here? Do you see that there is an icon, analytics icon, there is a marketing icon, there is a development icon, support icon. So for that, we have used font awesome library CDN. If you guys remember that, we have used that, uh, like we have used that before. Get everyone? So this is our head section, and head section does not have anything other than that, um, like, you know, important but we have got a font awesome link over here. Got everyone? Now, if I come to the body, there is, it's very important. So if you see that inside the body, there is a whole main wrapper that wraps around all the code. Got everyone? It is a, like it's a div wrapper that actually wraps around all the code. So if you see that it's a, it's a main div that has everything into it. So if you see, there's a lots of lots of code over here, most of them like lorem text, but again, it, it contains it contains the main div wrapper. If I close this div wrapper, you see that everything goes inside that one. Spencer says, yes, thank you, Spencer. I would like others also to just, you know, uh, maybe just, just come in, come in and, and, and let us know that what's, what's going on, right? So that's, that's one div wrapper that is basically wrapping around all the code. And again, those who are joining us now, just right now, they might not be able to see the previous chat. That's the problem. So please, everyone who is joining us, please download this file starting.html. Siddharth, you have just uh, down, uh, like it connected, uh, uh, connected or joined the meeting. So please go and download this file starting.html and we are working on that starting.html. And I just discussed that in the header. If you see in the head, if you see, I have just taken out a font or some library, nothing else, nothing, no big deal. And in the body, I'm just talking about that this there is a one div wrapper that wraps around all the document that we have. This all document has been wrapped around this one. Make sense, everyone? Now, if I come inside that, there are different sections inside that, and they are all being coded, uh, like you know, all being commented out. So this first section is called navigation. The second section is called top container. Third section is called boxes section. And then there is an info section, which, which I have just, you know, I'll have to just, you know, mark it over here as well. You can just mark it over here, info section, right? So there's an info section over here. And then there is a portfolio section over here. And then there is a footer. So my wrapper div, which is the main div, contains all these inside sections. The first section is navigation and it's in the nav tag, of course. And if I open it, there are like links, home, about, services, and contact, right? So this is the nav section. When I go to the top container, this top container contains some, some useful things. It has a header tag. If I go, there is a header tag. There is a div tag. There is another, so there is another div tag. So this is basically a top container that contains, if I, if I just show you typically, that it contains this my website and this text, you know, this H1 and P. Then it contains this link, read more, where we have applied a class of is equal to button because we are going to make this read more as a button shortly. And then we have, then we have some, some interesting boxes. So we have uh, two boxes over here. One is called top box and top box A. So it will have two classes into that one, top box and top box A. So we'll be coding that. You remember that we'll be coding all of them. So that's why I've just you know, mentioned it over here. You should know that. So the one of the top box is called top box A. And the second one is called top box B. And if you see what is inside that, they have this membership and 200 in the first one, first top box and this buy now. So this is first top box and this is the second top box. And both of them have, you know, buy now option and that and the font option, you know? So it has two top, like two boxes over here, which are coming over there. And then if you just move forward, we have a boxes section. It's an interesting one. Boxes section has boxes inside that one. 
what are those boxes if you see that it has a class box and this is one box containing an icon some text and some like some heading and some text box number 2 box number 3 box number 4 and all of them have the class box applied to them so we'll be applying one one style to the box class and it will be applied to all the boxes over there so this is the boxes section and the next section is info section in info section if you see that we have a picture over here after the support and everything picture over here which is coming from unsplash and after that picture we have you know some text over here dev your business on the web and some lorem text and this section ends with a learn more option as well so this is one another section which is called information section after that information section here comes another very very important one okay, i'll just open up the boxes another come and that is portfolio and what is this portfolio you see that there are certain pictures over here and again i just repeated those pictures and those pictures are coming from unsplash.com and they are just the link of that make sense everyone and this is this is basically portfolio and then footer <laughs> footer is nothing but conistoga and copyright if you see conistoga copyright in 2022 is over there i would like to have a quick feedback from everyone that you understand the structure overall structure of the code because it's all all like you know commented out so you should know that okay it has one navigation wrap in the in the main wrapper we have a navigation wrapper we have a top container we have a boxes section we have an info section we have portfolio section and we have this one that's wonderful hana say that's all good meet kumar thank you meet thank you spencer tristan that's that's wonderful tristan can i have some more feedback because again uh since we are online and i cannot see your faces so, so that's that's really a okay yes someone is trying to enable the uh, live transcription and it's always good to have live transcription that's good right so k pandya says all good joan says all good that's wonderful right so what we have to do now see here after k pandya's like you know uh, all good i want to show you what we want to do we want to do something like this we want to convert this text this this web like all raw text into this one now this is some funny thing i want to make the links like this the links will appear like this for example on that very top and then this uh, this like you know this area which which is which is if you if you just go back to your your code it is the top container area it has like you know it 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 if you remember that this top container has this uh, this text into that one and it has these two boxes over there so i want to convert these two boxes like this and then these are if you remember these are the boxes section that we had so if you remember if i close this one so this is boxes section so boxes section is again all these boxes appearing over here and what are those boxes analytics marketing development and support which you have the fonts are already coming over there and after that the third section is info section if you remember the info section was let me close that the info section had what a picture over there if you remember there is a picture and as well as what is there if you see if after the picture there is some text your business on web and some text is coming over there and then we have this portfolio section and portfolio section you see that pictures are coming over here all those pictures that i have just brought in these are all images and again i have brought in from uh, from there but the only thing that might not be over here in our code is this picture which is coming as a background so we'll just you know bring one picture and we'll try to bring that as a background now what is what is important about this document or this website we are using css grid technique to implement a responsiveness in that one so you see that this is the main view of the website and i'll just open it up this is the main view of the website i'll just you know max, maximize it this is the main view of the website and if i just go i can see that portfolio pages are coming over here and things are over now if i just make it smaller and i start squeezing it see what will happen when i start squeezing it you see that i reach to a particular particular you know uh, like you know uh, screen and you see that these things go at the bottom and these come in that one that that one at 700 bit and when i go to 500 bit you see everything comes in the same line are you guys looking at it it's it's very responsive in its in its own right you see if i just you know show you that in if i show you that inspector yeah 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 spencer yes that happen and uh, you know uh, you can just you know you can just you know uh, follow me along and and you can see that i'll show you that right now 
So you see, uh, you see, Spencer, here I will not be stretching it or something. So you see, Spencer, that Samsung Galaxy 8 will show your website like this, which looks quite cool because there is nothing cutting on. Spencer, you understand that? And if I go and if I say responsive, the main website, for example, it says the main website, whatever view area is, this like, looks like this. If I say, okay, how, how it would look like an iPad Air, in iPad Air, it would look like this. Yes, so it looks it looks excellent in that that one as well. Yeah, exactly. So Spencer, that's what you remember we talked about. Uh, uh, did you see Spencer the the last light video that I shared, like the grid? Because I'll be using the grid area, like you know, grid a lot of CSS grid, lot of CSS grid in this in this project. That's why I just you know I just started the grid project yesterday, and today I will be making this project with you. So if I go to S8, you see that now it is showing very nice project. Now website is not cutting down, nothing is going here and there, and now my website is very responsive. Are you guys understanding that one? You see iPhone, iPhone will look like this, Surface Pro look like this. And if I say iPad, next up Max, it will look like this. It, it looks on all the, all the viewing area, it looks excellent. Are you guys getting that one? Yes, Spencer is showing thumbs up. So this is very nice. And we have to actually convert, we have to actually convert this text into something like this. Make sense, everyone? We have to convert that into, into this one, right? Now, again, in my folder right now, it's only index.html. And you remember, I would try to create what? I'll try to create a folder and I'll call it a style. So now I, I want all of you to follow it. Styles folder, inside that create a new file, style.css. Make sense everyone? I want to create a style file because I have to convert this document into this document. So I'll put that over here. So this document into this document. So first of all, I have created my, my style.css. Now, just to first of all, connect this with the style.css, I'll go to the my head section. And after this link, or maybe before this link, you can do that. And after this link, I'll come over here inside head and I'll say link rel is equal to dot slash styles, <coughs> style dot CSS. And to check whether it is working or not, you remember what I do, what I, which I'll remove. I'll say color blue. Oh, so color, <laughs> so it's working. I usually do background color, right? So background color blue. So you see that background color is blue. It means my styles are working. Uh, right now, what does that mean, Hannah? I don't know. I don't get you, Hannah. Right now, you you have to create this one. And again, I'll just you know talk about this how how this is basically working. Right? Do we have to do this right now? Or is it? No, 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 Hannah. We are we are doing it. I I am following it with you, and you have to cover it up with me. Like again, it's not an assignment or something. It's something that I will be following along with you and you will get the idea. And yes, I will give you a sort of in-class type of an assignment, but that would be a later one. But this is something that we are doing right now. You know what I mean, Hannah? And on the basis of this same concept, I would ask you guys to just go and create something. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So now we are, we are basically trying to work on this website. Again, this is the text that we have and we have to just come up with something like this. And we are starting our our uh, our document over here now yes so let's let's start working on that so first of all i want to work on the html you know the main root element and i want to say box sizing do you remember box sizing why we do your why we do the border uh, box sizing border box and do you guys remember that why do we do that again it won't show any effect right now but you remember that everything will go as a as a border box everything will be included in that i want to change its font family as well I want to apply a font family to the body and I want to apply this Arial one. Let's see, Arial, Helvetica, Sans Serif. We can use any font by the way. So I've just changed the font on my, on my uh, HTML. Now here, I'm about to start something very new and I would like to do. So color, I want to apply some color text, text color, for example. I want to say, for example, the text color should be hash 805C15. Again, it can be anything. It's not something out of my hand. I'm just, you know, trying to show you. So the text color changes to this one. Now here comes a very important concept. And I would like you guys to just, you know, take this, take this with me. And this is very, very important. 
this is very very important i can give it a color like this but in modern day css we have got a method where we can define the colors as variables are you guys following me what i'm saying rather than defining the color like this i can define the color as a variable for our document now for the time being i will just give you a hint and again maybe in coming classes i'll somewhere i'll just show you this again how to define the color variables for a document so i'll say colon root i define some variable colors over here now for example if i say uh for example you know any i want to define any color and i say uh for example ff0000 now you know i have defined a color and how to define a color dash dash with the name colon and the color value but it has to be defined inside colon root so i am defining a a color over here are you guys getting that one if i define a variable of color so again i'll, I'll just write it over here to define define colors for the page now this is very important as variables we'll be defining them as variables so i am defining them as variables so if i define dash dash any and if i come over here i say color rather than writing a color i will just write var dash dash any how many of you are understanding that one can i have a thumbs up or a chat box of okay yes understand you can define a color in this root colon root any with with any name whatever name you can just do you want and you you just you know define a color and you can just use this color with a var over here and believe you me i'll show you in the towards the end this will be definitely very helpful for you guys so hana says understood anyone else are you guys understanding everyone i can have can i have a comment quickly co quick comment from everyone yes yes exactly spencer the root is how you define the colors of like you know that define define the variable colors over here and then you can use those variables in all over the program right and believe you me you will you will see that okay you can create a template over there like this and i'll i'll show you that so now let's define some colors and let's call them some you know a very common names and you will see yes exactly yes exactly spencer it has to start with dash dash and it has to oh with you know right now just understand it's only for color names right now it's for color only so i'm saying that the primary color and defining a primary color and again i have used this from the color palette and you can use any color scheme 8439 i have defined a color called primary and of course there is no any color now so i can i can for example i can show you if i say primary so you see that now primary color is applied to the text are you getting that and yes we can give the values with kumar and i'll come to your topic as well your question as well and and, and by the way i will be doing one thing over here as well but we can define the variables like that as well so variable containing something it's a it's a sort of a new way of programming you know what i mean with kumar so with kumar are you getting that primary if i just do that primary so i will define certain colors over here i'll say one should be dark wherever i want to use a dark color i will use this 805c15 this will be my dark color this will be my light color again i have used uh, i'm telling you i have used that uh, palatan.com to define certain or to have a have a color scheme over here it should be light and i'm defining another one variable as as your question meet kumar shadow i'm saying that whenever i use this shadow color do one zero pixel you have you guys have used that one five pixel rgba and just define 105 105 105 0.8 0.8 this is the shadow and and i think you have, you guys have seen that shadow but if you have not just go and and find out this this like you know shadow uh, like box shadow so i you can just you know go and find out that style sheet wrong can you show us what you did okay spencer ah uh, siddharth it's uh, it's a very important question but i'll first answer spencer spencer do you see that what i have done i have just used link rel is equal to style sheet dot style so again when you are connecting to style sheet if i just you know make a mistake Or if I do not connect it, by the way, so you see that color go away. So what I have done, Spencer, uh, I'll just start it from the top. 
link Spencer follow me slash styles styles is a folder where I have and in that one style.css so if I connect it properly of course now it is changing it so that question how is better than writing the color normally you guys will be understanding that you know so that using this way in my whole complete document I don't need to go and change the color everywhere I will just come over here and just change the color and the color will be applied to everything. So that did you get that? It's a very important question. So that by the way. So you see that I don't need to change color everywhere. I will just go to the variables and change the color and everywhere the color will be changed. Yeah, so that you got it. <laughs> so here I want to apply, for example, the like uh, for the text, I want to apply dark color. So dark color. Yes, Anna, this is really cool. That's wonderful. That's very really cool. Okay, this was for the HTML, the root element. For body, I want to do something. Now, I want to apply a background color to body and you can apply a background as well, if you remember. And I say, take out the light color. Take out the light color and apply to the body. So my whole body has this light color applied. And Hannah, you understand that? Now, if I just go and change this light color, Definitely, it will be it will be just changed everywhere, and my all theme will be changed. See that? Are you getting that? If you want to change that, so using as as a background of the body, and it will it will it will just you know change everything over there. Okay. Now this body is very much stretched to this one. Let's apply some apply some maybe margining, and I say thirty pixel top and bottom, and fifty pixel right and left. Let's apply that one and you see that now things look a bit better. Right? So it's, it's coming over here. So I have just tried to do that. Hmm. Why my RGB does not show the color to you? Uh, Min, uh, RGB, where are you using? You are using over here? RGB? Uh, yeah, I cannot see that. Okay. Since RGB, we have not used this shadow still till now. We have not used this shadow word, shadow thing. When we will use this shadow, it will show me. You know what I mean? I You just write 0, 1 pixel, 5 pixel and RGBA and give some random values and it will just appear. And right now it is appearing this color and might be I want to change this color to, for example, I want to apply this. You see this, this will be a shadow that will be applied. So I want to apply the shadow of, for example, this color, something like that. So now this will be the shadow. And, and, and again, and I want to show you that shadow is coming over here. If you see that, mean. You see that the, the shadow is coming after these boxes and I'll apply this shadow to these boxes. You know what I mean? Okay, so if it is not working right now, don't worry about that. The, the question, like the, the main thing is this. Right, and the lines are very near to each other. I can, I want to apply in the body, I can say line height and I would say 1.4. So if I say line height 1.4, you see that line height goes a bit off is one like like it's not jammed with the with the previous one right now i want to show you something go back to so we have done most of the part which is which was starting if i go back over here if you see that i have every now and then used a class which is called button so you see button class for this read more i have used button class for buy now for buy now we would have used this button class you see class is equal to button so if I just work on this class equal to button, you see, I can work on all these which are which have class button. Are you guys getting that one? So now I want to work. So these are all general span that I want to apply. So I will say BTN. The BTN. I want to work with the BTN. And again, I want to apply a color to that one. So I will say, for example, I will say background, change the background of all BTN to our dark color. Now see here, control S. As I hit save, look at my look at my output. You see that my all buttons have gone brown, and which which brown dark color, dark brown. Are you guys getting that one? Okay, the text color I want to be light one. So I'll say color uh, color var light. You see everyone. I hope that you are getting that one. And now you see that this is very much jammed up with every content. And of course, you know that how to make it a breathier. I will apply padding. So I'll say, for example, 0.6 RAM on the top and bottom and 1.3 RAM on the left and right. So if you see here, 
look my buttons have started already started look like very nice and the, i don't want the sex decoration so i'll say none hanna are you following that one do you see that all buttons have changed now and i would not i would like to just you know read more i just remove this dot dot again so that make a button bit bit smaller that's just for nothing so are you guys getting that one btn we have just changed all the btns which were coming over here and if you come over here these are the btn buy now buy now and this read more they are all they are all become the buttons like this make sense everyone okay so what else i want as a as a you know as a general general setting okay do you remember that we had a one main wrapper that is wrapping around all the code and that is div class equal to wrapper you guys remember that one so what i'll do i will come over here and i'll just go one more thing i'll say dot wrapper the class wrapper are you guys getting that this class is equal to wrapper so i am working on the wrapper and what i want now here comes our tomorrow's yesterday's topic i want to apply a grid display grid which won't show anything right now because of course you remember grid and i want to apply a gap also 20 pixels said that it has to have a gap of 20 pixel when i apply the grid on that make sense everyone so i have applied grid to the wrapper and what is the wrapper wrapper remember is the main so i have applied a wrapper this complete wrapper a grid <laughs> i can see only the some some students are very active spencer is very active hana is very active min is very active and siddharth is asking here and there but i'm not getting responses from the others i hope everyone else is with me as well ah uh, yeah 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 yes we are racking wrapper as a grid so it, i want to create a grid of that one but you remember i have applied to the wrapper but to the individual components i'll have to give them a separate separate look first of all separate thing now this was the general settings that i wanted to make these were the general settings now comes this navigation i want to work with the navigation so i'll come over here and i'll write navigation i want to work with this navigation you know what i mean now to work with this navigation if i go to the wrapper this navigation has a class of main nav i will copy this main nav from here control c i'll come over here and i'll say i'll do control v main nav and inside this main nav we have a ul you see that we have ul so i, di I directly want to work on that ul so i'll say main nav inside ul i want to work on that that main nav ul now a very interesting thing i want to make a grid inside that as well because this will be this this wall also so this also i want to make a grid so i'll say display grid for this one as well this is also a container a container of ul so i'll say display grid gap 20 pixel right and grid do you guys remember grid template columns anyone remember what was grid template columns and if you have seen the yesterday's lecture i will say 4 comma 1 fr who will tell me what is this 4 comma 1 fr because i have discussed that yesterday if i just hit save you see that a grid is created over here and this grid has four columns and one column every column is one fraction unit and one fraction unit is basically now see that grid is occupying like this spencer are you able to see my last night video like last night video recorded lecture again those who have looked at this lecture they would have definitely understood this concept clearly that what i have done grid template columns four columns of one fraction each now if you see that uh, the style type i want to change the style type to none let style type none i don't want this one right so i've just taken taken that away after that i want to i want to just you know work on this underline and the colors and everything for that you know that i'll have to work inside this a a h wrap you know what i mean so i'll come over here and i'll again say dot nav a inside that when there is an a i want to work on that a so first of all text decoration i want text decoration to be none i guys are getting that take away those text decoration 
it has gone okay i want to apply a background color background color and i want to say var primary i want to apply primary color you see background primary color has come make sense everyone now i want to display block because by default this a is you know you remember it is inline so i'll have to do display block i've done display block you see that now it is showing a complete block over here after that i want to apply some padding you see that it is just you know very very much stretched to that one so if i say 0.8 ram looks good but text is not coming in the center so i'll say text align center text align center now i want to change its color as well color and i want to apply a color of dark for example so uh, it looks not good but again yeah, it's it's up to you you can you will see later on that you you can just change everything and anything at all so don't worry about that one right so i just give in the dark and why not give it a color of light rather than dark because you know it's not very much visible but that looks good right so light right light color so i'm talking about these buttons so buttons are looking pretty like pretty now very very much good now okay and also i want to have you remember i i don't know i have told you or not there is a text transform property and the text transform property is another very interesting one if i say press transform and i say upper case if i say you see that everything goes trans, like you know up, upper case text transform now i want to change the font size as well maybe font size and i want to say 1.1 one ram for example a bit of a bit of bigger one looks good and i want another interesting thing box shadow now here comes the concept if i say var dash dash shadow box shadow will be var shadow so you remember i have defined a var shadow now i can use this var shadow anywhere at all if i just hit save do you guys see that there is a there is a glowing shadow as appearing over there do you guys remember do you guys see that if i just take this away there is nothing but if i just put that again you see that a, a bit of glowing effect is coming with my button joan are you are you seeing that spencer that now my text buttons have a little bit of glowing glowing effect over there hana says yes yes ah mean yes there is a, there is mean see here if i close this mean you see that it it is coming with a very sharp end borders and if i if i just you know uncomment it it's safe you see that now there is a there is a shadow coming yes spencer that looks very good <coughs> now that looks good our buttons look good you see these are our buttons and they almost look like that maybe a bit more than that one but anyhow we can just you know handle that one shortly later on so they are coming all four in the in the direction so now there is one more thing remaining when i when i just click on that one like you know if you see that they they are hovering with to some something but my buttons are not changing that one so i'll just come over here and i will say main nav a hover you remember hover and what i'll do is that just change the the color and background and i'll just make the opposite background and opposite color you know what i mean i will say this uh, this one and this one are you guys getting that so i am changing the background to light and this to primary <laughs> and again this is a very interesting thing you can do whatever you want oh, it does not look very good not, not look very pretty here. but anyhow i have just changed that one to like this so buttons when i just taking cursor over that it is changing into that So you see here, like you can you can just do that, or maybe it, if it is not looking color is like the background is not looking that good, so I can make it uh, maybe dark. Just just check that one. Okay, now this this looks a bit prettier, but anyhow, it's, it's up to you. You can just you know change the colors over here. So we have got the color definition over there. Okay, 
So the hover is also done. So we are almost done with our front part, like you know the uh, the main navigation part. All the buttons are almost done. I'll just you know. Da, 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 um, yes, I think we should we should be with that. Padding point eight. If I if I do it point six ramp, for example, that looks a bit more better. Like no buttons were too much too much too much. Okay, so now comes. Now comes the next part. We are done with the navigation. This navigation is all done. Now we have we have reached to this top container. You see, top container has these two things. It has it has like you know this my website and everything, and it has this one. And if I come over here, you see that top container has these two things over here: the my website text, which has a background, and then these two boxes. So if you see here that this my website read more and this this membership and this pro membership, they they should come over here like this. You know what I mean? So I have to work on them now. I have to work on them. Right. So now I'll go over here and I'll say top container. The container which is on the on the on the starting. I, I want to work on that top container. So now what is that? If you see top container is a class, I'll copy this one from here. Control C. I'll come here and I'll say dot. So top container. And again, I want to have a display grid. You remember we used to we used to use flex before that. Now I'm using the display grid. And now if you see here, what I want, I want that this top this one should come over here, and this one should should have you know uh, if you see screen size, it is it has two parts, and this is one part. Now if you have seen yesterday's lecture, do you guys see that? Okay, I want to apply a 20 pixel gap as well. Gap of sorry, gap of 20 pixel. And now I want to apply something very interesting. Grid template areas. Now, if you have seen yesterday's lecture, I have I have just given that. Now see here, what is this showcase? If you come over here, this top container, this contains a showcase header. This is called showcase. Then we have a top box A and top box B. Are you guys getting that one? So I'm talking about how to make them in the grid. So I am saying that two sections should be occupied by the showcase. So how I will do that? Come over here. I will say showcase, showcase, and then top box, top box A. The first should be this, and the second one should be showcase, showcase, top box B. If you have not seen my yesterday's lecture, you will have a bit of difficulty in understanding that one. But if you have seen the yesterday's lecture, you will understand. Showcase, showcase, top boxes. So the first two parts. So I'm saying that this showcase is it should occupy two places, and then the top box A should be with it, and then it should occupy two spaces, and then top box B should be with it. Right? And we'll see that we'll we'll just you know change that one shortly shortly later on. But right now we have just you know done that that this is occupying showcase, showcase is occupying two places, and this red template areas is occupying these. Uh, like you know, this one is top box A, this one is top box B. Right. So this is again for this you'll have to see my yesterday's lecture, and you would have, you would find that over okay over there. It is it is that. Now I want to work with this showcase, which is this one. So I'll come over here and I'll say showcase. Now I have to define it like this grid area, because I will tell you that. That this is the showcase area which I wanted to use. You remember? Now this has come to the two areas, and you see that both of them. So showcase top box A, showcase showcase top box A, showcase showcase top box B. Anna, are you getting that? If you have looked at my last yesterday's lecture, because I have to give that name. That showcase is basically this grid area, which should be, which should occupy two places over here and two places over here. That's wonderful, Anna. Thank you. Right, and I want to give it a height or specifically minimum height. I want to say that minimum height of this box should be 400 pixel or something, whatever, 400 pixel. So I'm just giving this because I will I will bring up the picture over here, right? I want to bring a background picture over here, and I want to say background URL. I don't have a picture. I'll just bring that, and I will call it background dot jpg, which is not there. Of course, there is no picture. I'll download that from one splash.
I'm just saying business pictures. If you bring up business pictures, and let's take any of them, no problems, no idea, no, no, this problem. For example, let's take this one, and I download this. I download this in my downloads folder and I'll call it background and I'm just pasting it in my folder, right? Current working directory, not working directory. I'll just basically take that into my directory over there. So you can also bring one picture from here and I have just taken images folder and inside images, I'll put this picture inside. So you see here, I have just created an images folder and inside that there's a background picture. So it won't come like this. Now I'll have to come over here and I say dot slash images slash background dot jpg. Now if I come back to my document, it's not coming. I'll have to just see images background on JPG. What was the picture? Picture was this one. It should come here. Let's see that first. Oh, okay. And you know why it is not coming? <laughs> Someone will tell me because I am inside that one. You know what I mean? background JPG, because I have to go uh, one, one level up. You see that now this picture is coming over here. You know what I mean? It was actually not uh, not uh, getting that uh, that one. Now, uh, we have to do all those settings that we, that we did in our class project as well. So background size, I want to say cover. The background size should be cover and the background position should be center. Center. Now bring that in center. Now the picture should, should come in center. And this text you see that's going very much on the left and right. So I'll apply a padding. And I'll say free RAM. Like for example, I want to have a real big padding. Free RAM is too much. So I'll say 2.4 RAM, for example. Um, that also looks a bit more. 2.0 RAM. That looks a bit reasonable on my on my side. That looks a bit reasonable, right? So this is this is the <laughs> All right. And I want to apply box shadow as well to this one. Now it's very easy to apply box shadow. I'll say box shadow and I'll say var shadow. So now if you see that mean that there is a shadow being being appearing over here and this this shadow is appearing over here. Okay. Um, and I have to just later on see that why it is not matching to this one because it should match this this area. But anyhow, I'll just see that why it's not coming over there. But anyhow, this is, is this is a picture that has that has come. Oh yes, yeah, so I forgot one thing. Just go to the top. After that, uh, you know, in the beginning, I want to have. I will say all images should be size should be um, not size. What I want because image image is going out of the box. Sorry. Image is going out of the box, so I'll have to set up its dot, 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 max width. So I'll say image max width should be 100%, like 100% of its container. I think it should work now. Or it's still not working. I'll, I'll just you know, check that one. So I'll just you know, set up image max width. So image, if, if image is coming, it should be inside its, uh, its parent. It should not go outside of the parent. Anyhow. Right, so we have reached to this showcase, and we have been working on this showcase. And we have seen that we have got this, these all the items over here. Now, this showcase was showcase over here. And I, I have just you know, told you that I have to work on, on more, more things over there. And what are those more things that I want to work? So for example, I will come over here and I'll say after that, I'll say top box dash A, and grid area, I'll have to define that grid area for that one. You remember? Because we have just given that one. So I'll say top box A. So this is top box A, which I've just defined over here. In the same way, I'll have to define top box B. 
it has a grid area top box b you know what i mean i'm just defining them as the area so that it 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 knows that okay these are to the areas of that top box a and top box b Are you getting that? Are you guys getting that one? So this is basically this is basically coming up over here, and now if you see that this top box, which is I have defined this top box class in both of them. So if you remember top box class, I want to work on top box class as well. So I'll come before that one, and I'll say top box because it is not showing as a box, and it has no shadow or something like that. So I'll say background is var primary. You know what I mean? Background var primary. So you see that now it has gone background primary. That's wonderful. Now, what I want to say, I want to say display because you know inside that there are contents, and I want to display them as a grid as well. Inside that, you know what I mean? So I say display grid, and now I can I can do something like that. You can see I align items center, align those items in the center, and justify item. in the center again so if you see that now they are all justified in the center you know what i mean align them in the center and justify them in the center and you see that they are very much stretched or they are very much jammed up with that one so i'll apply padding and i'll say 1.5 ram for example let's apply some padding of 1.5 ram looks good and i want to have the box shadow as well and you remember that how do i apply shadow i'll just say shadow and it will be applied over here I get getting that one. So if I come over here, if you see that, at most it, it almost looks like that one. But of course, there are certain changes that I'll ma make more. So two hundred is is a bit big. Siddharth, yes, you are saying something. Oh, break. Okay, <laughs> okay, you need a break. Right. So let's take a break, and uh, let's take a break of ten minutes. and after 10 minutes i'll be back and we'll just you know do rest of the things there there are not that much things remaining but anyhow we'll just you know complete that one so this is something that we have to come up with and this is something that we have just reached and as i said i'll have to just check why it is not coming over here that i'll just check that one but later on i'll have to just you know we have to adjust these all kind of things okay let's take a break and i'll stop recording for a second like pause recording and Right, so we reached to this point where we have worked on the top box, and this top box is now visible, and it's showing us, you know, some glowing effect. Now, this is basically, if you see that the the price which is mentioned in the top box, it has a class price. So both of them have a class price. So I want to make them bigger. So if you see that it's basically a bit bigger over here. So I'll go back over here and I'll say. I'll say, oh, I'm not sharing my screen. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sharing my screen. So, do you see my screen now? So you see that website and this code over here. Okay, Tristan, thank you very much. yeah it should be there now okay so um so what i'm saying is that this this font size should be uh, like you know the price tag should be bigger so i'll come here and if you see that i have defined like the class of price with this 200 or 300 so i'll come over here and i want to work on that one so i'll say top box and dot price so there's a price class and just just we need one thing font size and i say 2.5 ram a much bigger size So let's see what happens. You see, two point five is much bigger, so I can do that. Two point three, for example. Um, that also looks a bit bigger. Two point one. So let's that looks that looks a bit good, right? So this is our our font size. Okay, so we are very much done for this area as well, and now we have got this this area, which is basically called as as you know the boxes and we'll just you know talk about these boxes over here and what is these boxes if you see that that we have some icons over there if i just show you that 
So this is the boxes area. So in the boxes, we have class is equal to box, which is applied to each one of them. And I want to convert them into something like this. You, you see that something like this, which is which looks very nice. And I want to work on that one. So what I'll do is that I want to now work on the boxes. So I'll come over here and I'll say boxes now, right? And what, which, which boxes I'm talking about? These boxes, right? So now, first of all, we have a class of box boxes, first of all, because boxes is the main class of the wrapper class. If you see, the boxes is the wrapper class of all these, right? Of this box section. So I want to work on boxes, first of all. If I say dot boxes, and I say display grid, and I want to apply a gap of 20 pixel. So now it has it has a gap of 20 pixel. Now, I want to divide the columns. And if you see here, the columns are very interesting. If I start stretching my web page, you see that they keep on filling up or they keep on in, you know, going down. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll come over here and I'll say grid template columns repeat now repeat if i say for example repeat if i say uh three for example one fr for example if i do three one fr so you'll see that it will always come three will be three will be coming over here you know what i mean so always it will be three and it will keep on stretching over there but that's not something i want what i want is that i want them automatically to adjust if you see that here they are automatically adjusting first of all it's showing three but then it comes four it comes two it becomes two as well you know what something like that so I want to work on that one. So if you want to do that, see here what we'll do. I'll say repeat. Inside repeat, I'll say auto fit. You know what I mean? And min max. If you remember in yesterday's lecture, I've told you min max. 200 pixels should be minimum and one FR should be maximum. Do these two kind of things over here. Now, repeat auto fit. First of all, try to auto fit whatever number is coming. And then do what? Minimum is 200 pixel and maximum is one fraction. So if you see here now, if I just stretch it now, you see three and four are also appearing over there. And if I just go back, it they go to the two or something like that. And we'll just talk about those media queries later on as well. So you see that it is auto fit. Auto fit means, Anna, are you getting that? This is auto fitting all the boxes. And I'll work on those boxes color and all those background as well later on. Right, so that's that's something. And now to work on the box, typically every box. Oh yes, I will lag. I will definitely lag. And 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 don't worry about that, Min. You see that? Don't worry about that stretching. Do you see Min right now? Three appearing over here. When I stretch it, you see Min. Now you can see that there are four appearing over there. You know what I mean, Min? So yes, it lags when you stretch when I stretch it, but don't worry about that one. Now. Now I want to work on the box typically, every box. And you know, I want to do some, some real, real thing. And I want to apply a background and I want to apply a primary color to that one. So you see that primary color, now every box has a primary color over there. Now I want to see text align and I want to say center, center text align, everything is centered. Now padding, if you see that it's all stretched to that one. So I'll say padding. And I'll say 1.5 RAM and 2 RAM. Again, top and bottom 1.5, left and right 2 RAM. You see that box is now looking very nice. And last but not least, box shadow that we are applying, not box sizing, box shadow. We are applying continuously a box shadow of shadow. Are you guys getting that one? Now this looks very cool. Sorry. When I stretch it, you'll see. When I stretch it, you see that, okay, if it is lagging for you, now four are appearing over here and auto fits, it auto fits them. And if I just come over here, you see that it is, it has gone to two even. And again, now, right now it is just behaving not the, not the ideal way because we'll have to do the, uh, the media queries as well over here to, to make it more, uh, more and more stretchable. You know what I mean? So the box, the boxes are also done. And we have almost done what we wanted to do. So repeat auto fit, auto fit, whatever number you can fit, fit them. Minimum is 20, 100 pixel, 200 pixel is the minimum. And, and for 100 pixel fraction, one fraction is the maximum. So it goes to 200 pixel minimum. So if I just, you know, show you this stretching again. 
So it goes to 200 pixel and not does not go any lesser than that. If I say, for example, if I say 100 pixel, so now you see that it goes to even 100, 100 pixel over it. You see that it does not look good, but anyhow it goes to 100 pixel as well. But 200 pixel looks very nice. Right, so I have got this one. Right. So now our, this section is also done, the boxes section. Now the last section, which uh, not last section, info section. Info section is what? If you see info section has two things, an image and some text. If you see info section has this image and the text, and it is the most easiest one. I'll just, you know, talk about that one, info section. And if I want to work on that info section, I'll come over here and I'll say info. And let's work on that info. Info. And I want to say background, first of all. And I'll say var primary. You see, info has now gone, now gone primary color, right? The background color. And the box shadow, I want to just give that. And I would say box shadow is equal to var shadow. So my box is, is applying the shadow as well. And I would like to have a display grid over here as well, because inside that I want to apply a display grid and the gap should be 30 pixel or whatever you want. 30 pixel gap. And I want to create grid template columns. So here I want to repeat two one apart, right? Remember one fraction, two of one fraction. I want to just repeat them for this info. So you see that now it has got these two things over here. You know what I mean? It's, it's just basically appearing over there. Right, what else? Okay, I want to apply some padding as well because that does not look like very good. Padding three RAM. If I just want to apply three RAM padding, Everything goes, goes in the middle. Haven't got that? Right? So this info is done. Info is, is not that much. I just applied the grid to this one and the repeat column 2 FR. I'll just make two, two 1 FR. So both of them are occupying the equal space. You remember? Uh, those who have looked at the yesterday's lecture, they will see that okay, this is this is basically done like this. Now, this is the portfolio. The portfolio is appearing over here. Now, I want to work on portfolio now. And you will really enjoy that portfolio because, you know, dot portfolio. Because here, we'll just make use of that again. So display grid. And if you see my final output, that that this these are also very responsive. You see that they go, they auto fit. You see auto fit that I was talking about, auto fit. You see, they can fit nine, they can fit whatever is coming over there. You see what I mean? So I will say display grid, and again, gap of 20 pixel, and I say grid template <coughs> template columns, repeat, auto fit, remember, right? And min max. I will say 200 pixel, one FR. So again, just set up them, 200 pixel and one FR. So if you see that now they are nine, and if I stretch that my page, you see that they keep on changing themselves. I would be lagging of course in your screen, but you can see that what is going on. So you see, now they are, now you can see that nine is there. Joanne, are you looking at it? There are nine. If I if I just squeeze that, you, are, you can see that there are two are coming over here. Right, so portfolio pictures are also here. Okay, the pictures look a bit of like, you know, sharp edged or the size does not look good. So I want to work on that one. So I'll say portfolio IMG. I would say that width should be 100% of the parent, whatever is the width of parent, you should adjust. And also height should be 100% of the parent. So now every picture will be of the same size. You see, every picture of the same size. And also I want to apply box shadow. Box shadow. And I will say var shadow. You see now the shadow is also appearing. 
got everyone but it is not we have responsibility till now because now we need the media queries if i just squeeze it you see that everything goes away and it does not show half of the pictures are gone here comes the use of media queries now oh, first of all let's let's complete that the footer the footer is very simple and for the footer what i'll do is that what i'll do is that i'll say footer footer is just the tag by itself so margin top i want to make it a bit away from the top one 20 uh 20 or 2 gram by the way it's it's a separate so background background color i want to apply so i'll say var and dark so it has dark color and i want to change its font color so i'll say color and i'll say var light you see the light color and the text align remember the text align is equal to center and now the text will go in the center and let's apply a bit of padding even though i don't i, I think that's enough don't need to padding it looks good already it looks good you know what i mean now what i want to do see here what i want to do i would say that for example at this one this viewing area you see that it keeps on the, the this things disappears and this come, comes over here so i want to apply a media query on maybe 700 pixel that when it reaches to 700 pixel these two boxes should come at the bottom are you guys getting that one so for that what i'll do see here i'll apply media queries so if you remember media and we use screen and that one and we can just directly use this one so if i say max width 700 pixel when the max width reaches to 700 pixel now what is this container that i'm talking about this is called top container if you remember if i just go back to the top this is the top container which is showing showcase showcase top box a i want to change its this setting so i will say on this size use the top container change the grid template area now look at this programming i'll say grid template areas now i want to change those grid template area and now see here showcase showcase i want to have one area and top box top box a top box b i hope you guys understand what does that mean now rather than defining that one do what do what do showcase showcase and top box a top box b like this which is not looking uh, what is going over there okay let me see that now it is good it is right now showcase showcase and top box a top box b now i want to change the grid template areas and i would say showcase showcase i want two showcases and top box a and top box b okay which it is not showing properly i'll i'll just see that when i come over so you see here it showcase should come all the way over here like it should occupy all the space and because it should occupy these two and that the second line should contain top box a and top box b um oh i just made top box top box a top box no you wrote top not top oh oh yes 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 sorry thank you very much for finding that out oh yeah so this was a mistake thank you uh, kevin so you see that top box a top box b so now it just reaches to over here thank you kevin and joan joan i i made that mistake right so you understand that i have changed this one on the 700 pixel right and also when it when, when it reaches over here maybe i want to change uh, if you want to change anything else you can just you know you can just do that and and one more thing the main nav ul this main nav ul you, you know this this main nav that was on the very top if you if i just show you main nav ul display grid and it was repeating four columns i am saying that when we reach to over here for example i want to have just one column over there so what i'll do see here i'll come over here in my media query and i'll say dot main main nav ul grid template columns is equal to 1fr just change 1fr 
Are you guys understanding that one? Top boxes are not aligned. Uh, I'll, I'll just see that. Yes, I'll align that. Just don't worry about that. So you see that you see that now, of course, it's not looking good. But on seven, uh, Kevin, are you looking at that? That they are now coming in one line. All the buttons coming in one line. And yes, I, I know that Kevin, I have just you know made a mistake. I'll have to just align them. But I'll talk about that. First of all, if you see that now they are coming in one line, one FR. And also let's look at this one, this info. This info and what what is this? What just what is just happening for the info? Grid column repeat two frames. It is it is basically repeating two frames. And if I want to make them, if you see here, what happens when when we reach to there? So this goes in the bottom. So again, I can change the info as well. You see what I mean? If I come over here and I say dot info, change it as well. Grid template columns one fr. Are you guys getting that one? That should also, the input should also go to grid column one. So if I just stretch that one, you see that it also goes to one. Are you guys getting that one? This is this is wonderful. So now we have got this one. Now even this looks good and it is starting to look, look a good professional one. But if I just go over here, now you see that that these boxes, they are, they are also coming in the in the one and that and 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 you have you have basically these are also coming over here. You see what I mean? <coughs> and how about how about if when I when I reach to this 500 pixel, for example, I want to make it more. So in 700 pixel, it goes it goes like this showcase and like showcase goes to the like showcase go twice. I can apply one another media query as well. I can say media. Max, oh sorry. At media. Max width. And I say for example 500 pixel. When it reaches to 500 pixel, apply some style and chase top container. Top container grid template area. Grid template areas equal to showcase. Just showcase. And top box A. And top box B. Are you guys getting that one? Just make them one. So if you see here, if you see here, when I reach to 500, you see five, when I reach to 500, everything goes in one line. Are you guys looking at that one? This is a wonderful, wonderful thing. If I just go over here, this one is my. <laughs> I, I was I was showing you. So when I when I just show you, and if I just you know make it make it a bit smaller, if you see that when I when I reach to that one, I will see that everything should go in the one line. You see everything is going in one line. And when I reach to step five hundred, for example, and again I need to align them. I'll just talk about that. If I just make them something like this, you see that now it goes to like this. So it's it's becoming very flexible. And I'll show you in, in that, in the inspector tool as well. So when I say iPhone SE, everything goes over here and everything comes over here. And I say XR, it will be like this. If I say Samsung 8, it will be like this. Galaxy Fold, like this. Next up, like this. You know what I mean? The last thing that I have to see why my, my this navigation is not coming on the on the top, like, you know, why my main nav UL is not? Oh, it has some padding looks like, it has some padding. I do that and I hope that it will work, but let's see if it works. So if I come over here and I say padding zero, looks like it has got some padding over there. So now see here. Now, Kevin, is that is that good now? Okay, I will be jerky again, but again, you, you, your your screen, when you stretch that and you do that, you will find out that everything goes in the one, one line. Now, the good thing about today's lecture, so we are done. We are almost done. The good thing about today's lecture is that it's all recorded. And I would like to, go. and now someone was asking a question in the beginning, and I will show you that. <laughs> you will definitely enjoy that answer.
I'll show you something. Someone change. Someone said that what is the difference of defining these colors? So you see now, if I come over here and I just change the color over here and I say, for example, this one, hit save. You see that color goes changed. And if I come over here and I say that I want to apply, for example, for example, you know, dark color. It is dark, so I'll say okay, dark. So you see that my whole page is starting to look different. If I change this one and I give this a very light of lightish blue, you see my whole page starts to look different. You know what I mean? I hope you guys understand that one. I'm just changing that to my originals. You see that it is now this one. See that you got the point? Yes, you you were asking that question. You got the point now. So Siddharth and everyone, should I expect that you guys will try a, your own website with this, all these things that we have done and you will try to come up with something? So and thank you. And you guys remember that I asked you guys in the beginning, like uh, before we were going on the break, like again, exam and break, I asked you to just create your own profile, profile website. Should I expect someone will come up with their profile website like this using all these techniques over here? Why does my portfolio only do one apart for the whole thing? It just makes the images bigger in one row. Spencer, I'm, I'm not sure that I'm getting your question, but I would just I, I let me complete that. And then Spencer, I'll take you on a call. Like, you know, I, you can share your screen and we'll see that what is going on, right? But first of all, you're talking about the info uh, portfolio. So have you checked that portfolio is, you have done that portfolio repeat auto fit min max, just check your code of portfolio otherwise. All good. Okay, so. Spencer, I can I can take you as a as a, on a call something like that, but let's let's see that. Okay, I'm not changing the font of this H1. I can change this H1 font as well, and uh, and I will I will just you know you know you you can now find out where is this H1 and you can just you know change that. Where is this my website written? It is I think in this section. Yes. So showcase H1. So I can just you know do that. Where is this showcase? Da 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 da. Yeah, so I can just you know say dot showcase h1. I've not done that. Font size equal to, for example, four rem. Oh, four rem is big bigger. Three rem. Right, so something like that. And you can change the font size, and you can say margin bottom is equal to zero, so that everything comes like you know the text is very much away, the paragraph is very much away bottom is going to zero and you can just you know work on that one and now you have the buttons you can apply the hover effect or whatever in those buttons as we have applied the hover effect over here was it interesting today's lecture everyone i would like to have feedback from everyone oh we have only 12 participants left that's wonderful so guys did not enjoy that <laughs> i think the, the other people they do not enjoy that one Joan says, clap. <laughs> okay, so I'm stopping here and I would share this code and everything with you, like yesterday's code and this code as well uh, with, with you guys. And if you have any questions, Spencer, I can take you. I will, I'll just stop recording and I can take your, your